Hello, kids. Welcome back to part three of A Year with Mother Goose. Take a look at the picture. What season is it now? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Which season? It's fall. It is fall in this picture. What are the geese doing? The geese are flying. Are there any goslings? No, there are no goslings. All the geese are adult geese. And they are flying. Where are they going? Where are they flying to? They're flying south. Nam Uro. Why? Why do they fly south? Because it's getting cold here. In the south, it's warmer. Ah, nice weather. Now she choyo. So the geese fly south for the winter. Let's read together. It is fall. Kaulisel, right? Now, chigum kaulisel, right? It is fall now. Mother and father goose fly with the other geese. They fly together and they have some special shape. Okay, we'll talk about that soon. So, mother and father goose fly with the other geese. So do the goslings. Well, the goslings, they aren't goslings anymore. They're grown up. They're almost adults. Okay? They fly with mother goose and father goose. Ta kachiheo, right? Ta kachikaio. Right? They fly in this shape. What is this shape? It's a V shape. A V. V shape. V as in violin. Right? V. 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 It's a V shape, but it's an upside down V shape. Not this way. <laughs> this way. Right? It's a V shape. Why do they fly in a V-shape? Why don't they all fly together in a straight line? Why not? Well, because a V-shape is easier. Okay? Think about this. These birds here, okay, these birds are behind the lead bird. He's in front. In front. Do you know that he is working very hard? Oh, 너무 힘들어, 힘들어. But these birds, they're, ah, 쉬워요, 괜찮아요. <laughs> because this bird is breaking the wind. So these birds, they are, they can fly easier. <sighs> they can rest, okay? They can take a break. Can this bird be in front all the time? No, it's too hard. No, 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 So after some hours, after some time, this bird goes behind. He goes in the back. Okay, so he goes back and he, oh, he takes a break. Maybe this bird, pakwahel. He comes in front. Now it's his turn to work hard. Okay? So, by working together, kachi kamyun, it's easier for all the birds to fly south. They work together. They help each other. That's a good idea. We should all help each other so that we can do what we need to do. Birds help each other. We should help each other too. So, when we work, let's work together. Let's help each other. Birds help each other because they fly in a V shape. Okay. Where are the birds going? 
They fly to a warmer place. A warmer place. Where is it? What direction? What did I say before? Chane o momal haseo. What did I say? I said south. It is south of their summer home. In the summer, they live in the north, like in Korea. In the fall, they fly south, maybe to the Philippines. In the Philippines, it is very warm. In Korea, during the winter, ooh, it's cold, right? So many Koreans go to the Philippines in the winter, like the geese, <laughs> okay? So it is south of their summer home. They will spend the winter there. So the geese go to the south, to the Philippines, or to South America, or some other place in the south, and they spend the winter. They spend the winter, they take that time there, in the south. Did you know we use the word geese to mean more than one goose? I taught this to you before in section one, in part one. Remember, ge goose, Hanaman, geese, Manayo. In this picture, do you see a goose or many geese? Of course, you see many geese. Not just one, many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six geese. Not goose, geese. So there are six geese in this picture. Okay. Again, we see many geese. Where are the geese going? It looks like they're flying back north. Before they were in the south, now they're flying back north. Winter is over. It is spring. Whew, not cold anymore. So the geese can fly back to their summer home. The geese fly back north to their lake. The goslings are big geese now. They can take care of themselves. Take care of. Can you take care of yourself? Maybe not now. You're too young. Your mother and father take care of you. They give you a home. They give you food. They give you their love. They protect you. They keep you safe from danger. They take care of you. But in this picture, the goslings are big. They're big now. They are adult geese. They can take care of themselves. They can protect themselves. They can find food for themselves. Okay. Mother and father goose make a new nest. A new nest. It's a new year. One year later, they make a new nest. Soon, they will be caring for new goslings. So, what will mother and father uh, goose do? They make a new nest. Mother goose will lay new eggs. She will sit on them. Father goose will watch for danger. How many days later will the eggs hatch? Do you remember? How many days later? Ishipal il? 28 days later. New goslings, new baby geese will come out. And father and mother goose will care for the new goslings. Aha! So we have a circle, a circle, and a circle is like a cycle. This is the circle of the life of the geese. If you think about all animals have a life cycle, right? 
they're born, they get, uh, they get older, they learn from their mother and father, they grow up, they become adult geese, and then they have babies again. Let's take a look here. What are these here? These are eggs. How many eggs? One, two, three, four, five. There are five eggs. What happens here? When? These are chicks. Chicks or goslings for the geese. How many? One, two, three, four, five. There are five chicks. All of the eggs, what did all the eggs do? All the eggs hatched. All of the eggs hatched. What's going on here? What's happening? This is day one. No sleeping. As soon as they hatch, let's go to the lake. <laughs> day one, the baby geese, the goslings, are following mother goose to the lake. What are they doing here? They're swimming in the lake. They're learning how to swim and they're eating the marsh grass. This is day two or day three. And they do this for a long time, all through the spring. Two months later, two months later, they fly. They learn how to fly. And then one year later, they come back to their home on the lake and the cycle starts again, right? Seroun Shizakeo. They start again. So it is a life cycle for geese, the goose life cycle. And of course, all animals do the same thing, as I said before. This is the life cycle for geese. Can you think about the life cycle for human beings? Think about that. Maybe you can make a picture like this. Draw the different times in your life and in the future. And maybe when you have kids too, that cycle will start again. Very interesting. Well, that's about it. That's all we have for uh, part three of A Year with Mother Goose. We've spent one year with the Goose family. I hope you learned a lot. I sure did. And I'll see you next time. Take care.